After installing the access point into your DHCP enabled router by plugging it into one of the RJ45 ports, you will need to log into your DHCP table and find the access point's IP address. Once you see the IP address, you're going to copy that and you're going to paste it into your URL. And this access point is set to default, so the default username and password is Cisco with a capital C. Now that we are in the access points web interface, to enable the radios, we got to go to the Easy Setup Network Configuration. And as you can see, the AP host name is AP, which is default. And the IP matches the IP in the URL. So we're going to enable the 2.4 gigahertz radio. It's the same procedure for the 2.5, so there's no use enabling both. We're going to give it a name. We're going to click Broadcast SSID and Beacon so it can be seen on the network. Universal Admin Mode we're going to disable. So security will be web key for this purposes. We're keeping this very simple. We will go over other security options in the future. For this video we're going to go with web with 40-bit encryption. We're going to give it a key. The role of the radio network, there are a few options. We're just going to click on access point. Optimize for through report. There's a few options. Through report is what we're going to go for. Channel, least congested. Airnet extensions, we're going to leave enabled. Power, maximum. We're going to apply change. And it's going to give you a warning, letting you know that the page will be updated. You click OK to continue. And as you can see, the SSID is showing in the table. So now we have to actually enable the radio so it can run on a network. So we're going to go back home. Now going back to the home page, you'll notice that the radio is disabled. That is because even though you set up the SSID, you have not enabled the radio. So to do so, you need to click on the radio that you set the SSID for and go to settings. and enable radio. You click on enable radio. The settings you put forth for the SSID are all saved already so there's no need to go over them. You can look them over. If you did decide to make a change this would be a good time to do so. Once you've looked them over and you're satisfied with the settings you click apply and it'll give you a warning letting you know that the page will be updated. You click OK. And in certain cases, there's a delay before the actual radio comes up. So if you click Enable and Apply, and 30 seconds later, it still hasn't enabled, be patient and wait, it will come up. You can click on Detail Status to get a little more information. The easiest way to make sure that your radio is up enabled is enabled excuse me, is to click on the home. And you'll see that the 2.4 gigahertz radio is enabled. Now we want to actually log into it through the network. So we're going to go view wireless networks. And as you see, the 1142 is there. We're going to connect to it. As you see, we're connected. We're going to test it out. We're going to go to a website. And we're on our website.
As you can see, we have internet connectivity, and we're good. To go. If you like this video, please click on the like. If you have any questions, you can email us. And if you'd like to purchase one, at the bottom there's a link to our website where you have the option of purchasing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.